Hello guys and a warm welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the Chorus app on your phone to send structured workouts to your watch. Okay so we open up the Chorus app and then along the bottom here you want to scroll across to the shield symbol. When you're on the shield symbol scroll down and then you've got nine um, tabs here and you want to click on workouts okay at the top so these are current workouts that I've got loaded already you've got a plus sign and create workouts so click on that now you can do this for run bike swim and strength so we're going to click on run and then it's time to create our workout so the first thing we do is let's pop in the name make it something that you're going to be able to recognize quite easily because it's going to be on your watch. I'm going to give this the name of interval um, one and then we've got the option to add a description if we need to and then we've got the intensity so what kind of parameters do you want to work on so you've got percentage of threshold heart rate, heart rate, threshold pace etc power, cadence or custom. So I'm just going to keep it simple today and I'm going to click on pace, click OK and then here is where we build the workout itself. So we've got a warm up section, we've got the main bulk of the warm up, then we've got the cool down. So in the warm up, if we click on time, we can scroll through up and down. We've got the minutes, we've got the hours and the seconds. So let's just give ourselves a 10 minute warm up. Target type is time. And then we've got the pace. Now I work in kilometers, so you know I can slow this down a little bit and say that we're going to work between 5.30 to 6.20 pace, okay? So that's my pace for my warm-up. And then I come into my intervals, okay? So let's just go for a really simple interval session, all right? And we're just going to go for, you know, two-minute intervals at a pace of somewhere between, let's say... 3.30 and 4 minutes. Okay, so I've got 3.30 is the lower end of my selection, 4 is the upper end of my selection per kilometer. I can go per miles or per 100 meters. I'm going to stick with per kilometer. Click OK. And then here is my rest. So I can give myself a three minute rest at a pace of five to six that's absolutely fine click OK so at the moment I've got one rep okay now this is where obviously if you're out doing a hard session you're trying to count those reps it can get a little bit tricky maybe you lose a rep or two but here you can just add how many reps you want so if we're going to do six of those It'll be six of the two minutes with the three minute rest, okay? And that is one rep, and it will repeat that six times. Now, if I've got varying different types of intervals, so if I needed to do six reps of two minutes, and then, I don't know, three reps of four minutes, I can add additional intervals in here. So I don't want to do that, so if I want to delete something, just swipe across, and then click on delete. Okay, so that's my warm up done my main set done and then here i've got my cool down okay so again a bit like the warm-up you know we can increase this or decrease this click on okay and that is our pace okay and again we can add different things in um, along the way so add more to the warm-up add more to the cool down whatever we like really so once we've done all of that and we're happy with the workout and it reflects what we want to do up at the top we click on save And there, the top one there, is the interval itself. Okay, so the next thing to do is to send the workout from our phone onto our watch. So to do that, we click on the workout that we've just created. And at the bottom, we've got a red button which says sync with your watch. And we click on that. And hey presto, it's jumped from there onto your watch. Now your watch has got the capacity for about 20 workouts. So if you need to delete workouts 
at the bottom um, tab again if you click on the watch tab and click on my workouts and then there is the workout that I've just uploaded and if I want to then I can delete that these are ones that I've already deleted from the watch I just need to delete from the app so you just swipe across and delete swipe delete okay so how does this look now on the watch so in order to navigate to the workout click onto the main menu and you scroll down until you get to workouts and then you should find the workout that you've just done so interval one is the workout we created so I click on that and then before you start if you want to just double check the workout just remind yourself of what you have um, put in you can scroll down to view and then that will tell you the workout that you are doing okay and then click on start it'll obviously find your GPS and then you'll be good to go it'll start you in warm-up mode and what you'll see on the screen I've got my time that I've got left the pace I need to be running at and the distance that I covered and as you can see at the top hopefully you've got this kind of windscreen wiper <clears throat> which is almost a bit like a rev counter which tells you where you need to be sitting so if you're blue, that means that you are not at the right pace. If you're green, that means you're sitting at the right pace or it could be heart rate or power. And then red means that you are exceeding the pace that you have set yourself for this workout. As you can see, it's trying to figure out where I am and what I'm doing. Now you have the ability as well to skip to the next section of the workout if you want to or to finish the workout completely okay or to get details and laps as you would do normally and you can still see your normal watch screen so this is how I have my watch normally set up so I can scroll through and look at my normal screen if I want to if you were doing longer structured sessions for example. So there you are, a really simple and effective part of the Chorus app and something which I use regularly now to add value to my runs. I hope you found this video useful and that you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, then just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.